Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, we're gonna try to continue with our iPhone 10 experiment. And in this one, in this, I will try to cover the the blend shapes coefficients topic. So, if been if you've been following my um, uh, experiment with this uh, iPhone 10 and face capture, uh, I mentioned that. Uh, with the data that we can capture uh, using the app, we actually have the we have the matrix transformations of the the iPhone camera, and we also have the matrix transformation or the head or the face orientations of the of the person uh, recording their face, and then we also have the the raw data, which is uh, all these points that I actually uh, displaying here. All these points is something that you can kind of scan from the, the face and then you also have one more thing the 50 over 50 uh, face blend shapes and if you if you uh, for a 3d artist blend shapes or shape keys is uh, pretty common and all these kind of uh, facial characteristic uh, breakdown of the someone's a human's face and then they sometimes divide it to left and right and uh, like movement of the jaw, eye blink and then sneer and all that that's kind of a... Uh, it's pretty good like 50 um, characteristics of the face is pretty good and um, these values are all coming from the the iPhone 10. it's uh, from the Apple kind of framework for the face AR so you get this 50 over 50 value it's already normalized between 0 and 1 and we can observe it from this data and I found it all this uh, face animation capture data is really really interesting and it's almost like uh, you can imagine like um, if you have like a if you want to transplant like a human brain into the Frankenstein robot and you can kind of transfer just the facial expression like the whole facial animation just talking or you know like making expressions it's still kind of basic but it, the way that you can do it so much easier using the iPhone 10 is like unbelievable I don't know it's just maybe just me but uh, in in 2017 you you are able to do this and I think it's pretty cool imagine if a uh, few years ago before uh, let's say let's speak a celebrity like a singer like a Michael Jackson if they actually have iPhone 10 back then you probably will capture like Michael Jackson's face just performing just you know just singing a song and then a few years later after he passed away you can still have that data and then you can re kind of recreate that kind of uh, facial performance I don't know I think uh, it's gonna be pretty cool um, I know there's an artist uh, an actress called Bjork uh, from Iceland Bjork actually experiment a lot with the uh, facial animations uh, from her music video but anyhow here I'm gonna quickly demo uh, what's going on here so this is you already know this is the face this is my face being scanned it's a it's now just a point cloud 1220 points exactly and this one um, is a face triangulation that's being generated using spare chalk add-on it also has polygon and uh, polygon data. It's actually from the mesh of my face that's being captured on the iPhone 10 as well. So it's two different things. And then this is uh, I transfer uh, just a simple data. Actually, the jaw open. Uh, there's a jaw open data somewhere here. Jaw open. I pick that particular data and then I transfer it into Suzanne and Suzanne. I'm using Suzanne just for a simple mouth animation. So the mouth animation is actually coming from from this data that I, that I captured a uh, few days ago. So once you capture the data, you know, it's uh, th this point data, of course, it's uh, kind of like personal. It's only for my face. If I actually put it online, people can actually get sort of like the rough, uh, rough points of my face. It can be anyone face if you whoever record their face on the iPhone 10 but if I give you the the blend shapes data this blend shape data is more like a generic it's, it's less 
uh, privacy concern, I guess. This one, you can transfer it into any 3D head character. I only have it for mouth open here. If you have Suzanne head with all these 50 blend shapes uh, that you can read on the Apple uh, documentations for this face AR, then uh, you can uh, contact me and then talk. We, we, I can try it on your uh, 3D head. It's all about uh, you know, like having a good uh, 3D head that you can apply all these blend shapes. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Uh, let's go quick breakdown. So, again, I started with this uh, face data. Remember, this face data, each, each and every line represents a particular frame, and the iPhone 10 is recording it at 60 times per frame per second. 60 times per, sec per second and then uh, we get 159 uh, for this okay and then somewhere hidden with this value uh, you have the, the blend shape data let's have a look control up okay let's have a look so this is the text data coming in and then I split the text uh, based on the line so I'm just observing one particular data on that particular frame and then I convert a couple of data. Like I said, this is the matrix transformations. And then you have the, the raw data that I observe here. This is XYZ data. I already talked about this. Now, this is the blend shapes. And the blend shape is uh, recorded between index uh, 1222 and then 1272 so there's around 50 uh, 50 plus uh, blend shapes so we have mouth upper up this is the first data this is the last data mouth smile 51 to be exact uh, it might increase in the future update of iOS Apple iOS but anyhow so we are slicing that particular data. We just get the 51 data. And then based on that 51 data, I'm using this uh, loop, special loop right here. It's actually pretty basic. The loops is actually separating the this uh, bl name of the blend shapes and then the value. You can see here the name of the blend shapes. And then there's this uh, column. And then there's the value. This is normalized value between 0 and 1 that's for the blend shapes that you can just plug in into any shape keys of the character in uh, in blender so the text goes in split by this column and then you have two data the first one is the name second one is the value you can see here index 0 index 1 index 0 index 1 goes out so out of the loop from this loop, this loop right here, out of the loop we have the data that we can just uh, pass in. Here I'm using a uh, text block output so we can actually look at it um, right here, text block. This is all the 51 uh, blend shapes data. Uh, you can have a read here if you like. Control up. You can have a read. So 51 if you make all this like a nice blend shapes for a 3D head for a character, any character, it will work. It will work right away with this data. So now, and then let's continue with this. So that's just to output the list of uh, blend shape coefficient. Here I am picking data number index 18, which is actually the, the jaw open and this is the actual value I'm actually multiplying it by 10 so the jaw open is apparently pretty small value so I can still kind of multiply it I can kind of tweak the coefficient depending on the character sometimes if the character have a different coefficient like the weighting you, you need to adjust and tweak this uh, a more clever setup is that uh, let's say you have a character like in this case just I have Suzanne right and I have this shape keys 
um, only one shape key is called jaw open. In this um, animation nodes, I'm actually specifying index manually, index number 18, because I know this, uh, if I look at here, jaw open is on the line 19, that's mean index number 18. And I just plug in the manual, uh, ma the value manually uh, using these uh, shape keys. So this part, if you have like a multiple shape keys, you need to, you need to tweak this even uh, slightly, for uh, slightly depending on what you're doing. A more clever setup is that, let's say this character have uh, like a ten or twenty blend shapes name, and the clever setup will have a look at the all the list of the names and then if if it has the the matching list it will kind of take the data from this uh, blend shape value so that's the plan that's something i will try to to set up using animation nodes so this is almost like a complete setup for apple iphone 10 uh, face animations this is actually you can use this for two. Uh, you can use it for many, many uh, like uh, applications. You can, of course, uh, make something and then put it back. Once you have like a character that works with all these blend shapes, you can actually create an app and create your own animoji, right? Animoji like Apple example. Um, that's one uh, applications. There are many, many other applications, but since you have the data here. You can really use it for game animations or feature film animations. Just this talking head that, of course, you can transfer into a, like a proper character head if you like, and because the result is pretty good. What's uh, what's still kind of tricky is that actually to get the eyes motions, and then to make sure the inside inside of the mouth is kind of uh, fill out whether the character have a tongue or teeth that's slightly trickier but the, uh, if you are a 3D artist, a good 3D artist that's dealing with head rigging a lot uh, head rigging and animations then you know how to deal with it or even like a modeling you, you need to kind of think about all that um, but yeah this is an example I will give you this node setup and this node setup is getting more and more complicated but um, yeah but it can be simplified. I think I'm pretty sure if you know a little bit of Python, you can simplify this into a proper like add-on script. But I like doing it this way still using animation nodes because I really understand what's going on. If I ever want to change the the face data, I can just record it on the phone and then quickly open up iTunes and then grab that data, which is just a text format put it into Blender and then I get a new animations for the for the head and then I can bake it into Alembic and I can process it further down the line and the uh, blend shapes thing is very in interesting so blend shapes uh, instead of, so with the raw value which is like 1220 points here it's a little bit more complicated and you cannot uh, you can probably do it in real time using um, OSC open source controller like as a side of this experimental project, I'm actually using Xcode and I'm trying to make uh, like a real-time OSC kind of app that stream and transfer uh, real-time data uh, on the fly. 1,220 1, points data is actually quite a lot and you multiply that by three, you get three values, vector values, kind of complicated. But with the blend shapes, 50 values, floating values for the facial expression that should be pretty uh, simple uh, I guess so in the past actually if you ever you deal with a touch OSC uh, you know that um, you can use uh, like the, uh, the touch screen of your iPhone or iPad and then kind of doing like real-time stuff like controlling all kind of volume or slider or like a button you can already do that I recommend you to check touch OSC app that's one one app that I, I use all the time when dealing with OSC with the face um, AR with the face thing on iPhone 10 which is I especially interested with all these blend shapes 
I want it. I want to have an app that I can just. I open. Uh, I just run my iPhone 10, run the app, and then I want the app to toss to my computer, sending all this OSC message, all this blend shape message. So, let's say you like controlling with a blink, you can control. You can trigger some kind of. Uh, uh, program or script or trigger like a sound or thing like that. It's become soon enough, um, maybe if not this year, next year, for iPhone 10 app only, you can control this kind of thing pretty easily. If I'm kind of, uh, I might be wrong, but maybe Apple will allow some kind of a simplified face AI or not for non iPhone 10 user I'm not sure about that but um, that's actually uh, should be possible because like you know snapchat and all snow app and all that they use some kind of uh, open CV kind of uh, face kind of like face scanning as well not as accurate as this one but still um, yeah so anyway that's a long talk but basically I, I will continue with this blend shapes if, if you have like a good um, character head let me know maybe I can test it on your character head and I will credit you um, yeah and then let's see how it goes with uh, my face OSC app that I'm working on just to transfer all these uh, 50 something blend shapes that's gonna be for real-time kind of experiment um, so anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for this live learning. So hopefully this is useful. This is uh, me experimenting with uh, Blender and iPhone 10 once again. Hopefully uh, this is useful. Let me know what you think. If you have any more feedbacks and suggestion or question, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.